Hello, Kelly here from a Pursuit. Today we are working on ephemera organization. Uh, we are taking a three ring binder and we are making it look pretty and organizing it. And so I've got a few ideas for how to do this so it works with your ephemera. Specifically, I'm doing large ephemera today and I basically started out by finding a piece of scrapbook paper and sliding it in so if your happens to have these uh, where the top is open and you can slide stuff in there I also put a little on the binding I was gonna put more it all the way but it didn't fit it didn't want to go so that's okay so let's uh, give a little rundown of what we got we have going on here so uh, I lucked out with this uh, three ring binder and it happened to have two pockets in it. So that's pretty awesome. And I came across these dividers. I know there are some uh, paper ones. They're similar to these, except they have a folder. And to be honest with you, you could take these and add a paper uh, pocket. And that would work really well as well. So I find these at uh, rummage sales. Actually, we might do that today. Just pop these in here and make a pocket out of it. And use the little crank thing there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add these in here, why not? So these are my pockets. I found uh, papers with seawater. So those are in there and I got some funky, funky uh, ephemera. And let's see what else we have here. Put in some of this that I recently mined from an old book. So we've got those. And I also have these page protectors. That's the word I was trying to think of before, these plastic page protectors. Uh, these are a lot wider than your standard ones. They come out pretty far. Technically, you could try to use these with uh, your page protectors so that you could have a little label on what they are. Uh, that wouldn't work with these because they're so wide. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to pull that up. These have an extra label in here. I'm not sure how useful that is, but at any rate, I did uh, cut out the top part of it, and I'll show you why. Let me just, huh, avalanche. There's a lot of avalanche going on lately. So, it's a little too wide. Let's pull this one out. Okay, so yeah, the reason I do that is so that I can have you know, different sizes and it's easy to grab. So I put the bigger ones in the back and then, and then uh, the shorter ones in the bottom. So, oh, my hand is under the mat. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Okay. So now, as you can see, I have a little avalanche going on. So the reason that I'm doing craft organization right now is because it's kind of my my standard go-to. I've had a little bit of a creative slump and a lot of times what that has to do with is um, one of two things. I've been doing a lot of left brain activities that it is means that you know my my right brain has stagnated and I'm trying to do all left brain organization logical type things. And um, I, I did have a rummage sale last week, and so I was doing a ton of organizing and preparing for that. And then, of course, when you're taking money and adding things up a lot, that's also left brain activities. That's just my theory. That's, that's kind of, but it works really well. It's a good system that I have working. And then the other reason, the second reason, that my creativity gets a little, uh, um, you know, down in the sort of wanes, that's the word I'm looking for, is uh, because my room, my craft room, it gets messy and I just get overwhelmed with it. So 
my craft room is messy right now. So I think those two things probably contributed to it. So in order to counteract that, I'll do either, I, I'll sometimes go, if it's the craft room messiness that's the issue, then I decided to just use that left brain logic to clean and order, make some order out of my mess and get it back to, you know, how it should be. And my goal is then three weeks to totally uh, clean up the craft room and then do another craft room tour. I'd like to do that every six months. Plus I'm, I'm always rearranging and coming up with new storage mes methods to send up to kind of make things work a little bit better so there's that so yeah that's uh that's the um my strategy for getting getting organized and getting my creativity back so the other way that i get my create creativity back is this is really scary looking i don't know why i saved that <laughs> The other reason, eh, it won't go away. Um, <laughs> my, uh, the, the way that I get my creativity back is that I just kind of go in and I, and I look through some ideas on Pinterest and then I just start putting things together and layering a master board, a collage. That's a really good way to get my creativity back. So there might be a master board collage uh, video in in the future because <laughs> that really helps but anyway it does help to cut these out so that you you know you have a um, more access to those so yeah uh this is this is also kind of goes against my my no plastic storage but it's not a hard and fast rule and nothing should be a hard and fast rule because there's always exceptions and ephemera is one of them where it just sometimes is easier to 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 grab and purchase something you know inexpensively that already has that's already made so you know some of those ephemera books that that people put together they just they're really uh time consuming so i want fast so anyway i'm going to i'm going to use my my uh what are these ransom ransom letters <laughs> love it uh i ha i don't use these in my junk journals too much because they don't really fit the style but for my ephemera uh uh book here they'll be perfect so and all i have to do is be able to spell it right <laughs> i'm actually i'm a, i'm a decent speller Watch now, I'll spell it wrong. <laughs> All right, I need an H. Where are you, my little H friend? I'm not really sure why these aren't in order. That's sort of confusing to me. <laughs> like, they should just be in alphabetical order. Oh, ephemera, I'm gonna use so many E's. Where are you, M's? Okay, M's. What color should I use? Maybe this one. Oh, I gotta fit, squeeze in three more letters in there. I guess I should have made them straight. Will they scoot over? Maybe. Hopefully I don't ruin the sticky by doing this. All right, ease. <laughs> e, e, e. Maybe some a black one. And I need an R. I don't know if they just didn't intend to put these in alphabetical order. I'm a little confused about why they would do that. Oh, so confusing. Okay, now an A. A, A, A. Go with blue. Blue. Oh my goodness. Just off. I just can't handle that. We're moving all these over. 
and also putting real glue down. Here's my <clears throat> the Fabrifix, my favorite favorite glue. And then you'll never come up. Will stay exactly where you're supposed to. I found online that there's somebody um, they were selling like a craft mix bag and it just said like adhesives and embossing which I don't really have much use for the embossing stuff but it was full of stickles and it had a bottle of art glitter glue in there I was like ooh so it's on Facebook marketplace so I'm going to see if I can snag it Now it looks like they're too much over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try. Scoot everything this way before it dries. There we go. Oh. Good grief. Stay down. There. All right, it doesn't look that great. It looks kind of cute. It's it's kind of cute. Now how am I gonna stick it to the to the plastic? And I lost my cap. This is this is this room. It definitely needs to be cleaned. There, I found it. <gasps> oh my cap! I know why they made it red. It still doesn't help me all the time. <laughs> still. Okay. So this is a little binder ephemera organizer. Uh, I hope you like it. I appreciate that you came along today. If you like my videos, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. That's all. That'll be awesome. And yeah, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.